ओके वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैलकुलेशन दिस यू हैव टू डू इट वी बिल्ड सेंट्रिफिकल फैन सप्लाइंग एयर टू प्रोसेस प्लांट द परफॉर्मेंस टेस्ट द फैन दे फॉलोइंग पैरामीटर दे टेकन डेंसिटी डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर 0 डिग्री सेल्सियस कैन यू रिमेंबर सर दे दे गिवन द टेंपरेचर different temperature what you have to do it any idea density of air is 0 degree the density they are given 1.293 ampient air temperature 40 diameter of research the air tank diameter 0.8 meter velocity pressure measured by pt tube velocity pressure 45 mm water coolant Which is the coefficient they are given? Static pressure at fan inlet. How much? 0.20 fan inlet. Static pressure at fan outlet. 185 mm. Power drawn by motor coupled with the fan. Motor with coupled with the fan. 75 kilowatt. Belt transmission efficiency. 97 percent. Motor efficiency at the operating load, 93 percentage. Can you hear my voice? Power drawn by the motor coupled with the fan. Coupled, 75 kilowatt. Belt transmission efficiency, 97 percentage. Motor efficiency operating load, 93 percentage. I draw the diagram. You can tell me one by one. Find out the static fan efficiency. Very important. Static fan efficiency. Only the given is static pressure. Understand? Mm, yes, sir. Yes, na. I draw the diagram. Tell me one by one. This is a fan. Motor. It's a coupling. They are connecting with the coupling. They are traveling, na? Sometimes they will they tell belt. Okay, sometimes they will give the belt efficiency also. Okay, can you understand? This is a belt. This is a belt. Here, this is a fan shaft. This is a motor shaft. Understand? Any doubt here? No. Fan shaft, motor shaft. Okay. Now, the duct. This is a duct incoming. This is outgoing. What are the details they given? The pressure fan inlet minus 20, outlet 125. Here, static pressure. Here, they measure minus 20 mm water current. Here, plus 185 mm water current. 180 water cooler, nah? okay. And the fan, sir, uh, power travel by motor, 75 kilowatt. 
power p in 75 kilowatt belt efficiency 97 motor efficiency 83 motor 93 93 percentage belt efficiency here 97 belt 97 percentage okay next value air density 1.293 zero degree ambient air temperature 40 40 degree celsius diameter of duct 0.8 duct dia 0.8 meter ambient temperature 40 degree here 40 degree velocity pressure measured you understand the velocity pressure how they measuring the here taking the inset inset taking the connecting with the u type then velocity pressure okay velocity pressure how much 45 velocity pressure velocity 45 mm wc density of air 1.293 here sucking here na here taking zero degree density here air flow na density 1.293 kg per meter cube okay finally they are asking static efficiency static static efficiency <clears throat> can you understand this diagram clearly any doubt any doubt no. No, 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 no. Okay. How to calculate static efficiency? What are things you need to calculate for static efficiency calculation? Volumetric flow. Volumetric flow. First, you need to calculate Time volumetric flow. Time input. static efficiency means you need to calculate static pressure understand right first write the diagram first write the formula then you can easily understand what are things you need to calculate static volumetric flow flow meter cube per second into total static pressure per divided by 102 into power in to the fan shaft into 100 ah yes 100 sir total pressure available total static pressure available total static pressure available what are the values available tell me clearly power input to shaft how to calculate
How to calculate means you have to see here 180 incoming 20 one here 185 totally how much pressure developing minus 22 zero coming in a minus 22 minus 20 minus 19 minus 18 up to zero then increasing one two then 185 how much increasing how to calculate one total 185 minus minus of 20. Understand this one? Across the fan, pressure develop. You have to calculate across the fan. Total static question across the fan. Always you remember. Whenever they give the minus value, here minus value, 180 plus, you have to add. Both value you have to add. Simple. How much coming pressure? How much coming pressure? Nilesh, quickly tell me this value. Very easy, na? 185 plus 20, how much coming? 205. 205. Ah, 205. Yeah, more water cooler. Okay, next. Power input to stop. Yeah, you, you understand or not? This one. Total yes, static yes. pressure. Okay, if they give me minus, you have to add. Okay, next one is a fan input to the sub. Fan sub. How to calculate? Here I need Motor to calculate. Power into power motor input efficiency. Sub. Power in? Into motor efficiency. Okay. Into shaft efficiency. Field efficiency. Field efficiency. Ah, okay. Don't forget this one. Power. Sir, one eighty five is the output, na? One eighty five mm pressure. Is the output pressure, na? Ah, yes. What is minus twenty is the input. Yes. Input pressure. Okay. Motor. Belt. Understand this one? Okay. Power input how much? Seventy five. 75 kilowatt into efficiency. 0.93. Okay, pine okay, pine nine three, pine nine seven. You tell me the tell the value. Pine nine three into pine nine seven. Can you tell me the value? Quickly. How much kilowatt? Sixty-seven point six five. Sixty. Seven point six five. Six five. Sir, kilowatt na? Yes, sir. Very very button. Then yeah, this part completed. Next, we need to calculate volumetric flow. Then volumetric flow. Flow. Metric cube per second. What is the formula? Volumetric flow. Area into velocity. Na? Don't forget this one. Understand? Velocity. Velocity, what is the unit? Meter cube per second. Meter per second. Okay, area into velocity. Area. You have to calculate area how to calculate meter square. What is the formula? By R square. You tell me the one by one quickly. By D square by four na. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. By D, what is the D? Diameter. Daya. Okay. Diameter Understood. This one. Meter. Okay. By into point eight square divided by point eight. Four. Tell me the value. Just 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स थ्री फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट एट सायर इंटर थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर सॉरी फोर सॉरी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव नो क्लियरली यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटर पॉइंट एट स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय फोर पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू फोर आई एम रिसीविंग द वैल्यू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू फोर Okay, we have to call it properly, na. Otherwise, your value totally collapses. Area done. Next velocity. Next velocity. Velocity. What is the formula for velocity? Distance upon time. Meter per second. What is the formula of velocity? We have discussed it before. Cp into square root of two into nine point eight one into velocity pressure divided by density. Understood? Okay. Here, understood? Now this is the formula. Then one thing you have to understand here: velocity that given zero degree Celsius. The density that is given zero degree Celsius one point two nine three. You need to calculate for ambient temperature. Okay. Temperature increase. What will happen? Velocity. Sorry, density. Always going to reduce. Okay. Always remember temperature inversely proportional to density. Okay, then you have to calculate. Now you need density for forty degree Celsius. Okay, this is zero degree Celsius. This always remember you. Density you need forty degrees Celsius. Understood this one? Yes. Two seventy three plus here what will come on two seventy three? You have to convert it Kelvin. Here what is temperature coming? Here what is the temperature? Here what is the temperature? Tell me the value exactly. Forty degree from zero to forty degree always. I I told temperature inversely proportional to density. Density temperature inverse. Then here coming zero degree na. Here coming forty degree. Understand? Any doubt? R forty mm, here forty. No, here R forty. It's a density forty. Here, forty degrees Celsius. This okay? This inverse, hmm. na? Zero degree hmm. here, zero degree. Otherwise, you can write it like this also. If you do, if you don't understand density, forty degrees Celsius, two seven three plus forty degree, there will be two seventy three. Plus zero degree. I need to calculate this value, forty degree. Understand? Understood this one? I know the value, zero zero degree. How much value density? One point two nine three, na? Hmm. Okay, then multiply. R forty degree Celsius equal to sir R not density forty degree. This zero degree Celsius into two seventy three. Remember zero degree plus two seventy three plus zero two seventy three. Then two seventy three plus forty. Okay. 
273 Tell me the value, final value, quickly. <laughs> Tell me the final Zero point eight seven nine. Zero point eight seven nine. Eight seven nine. Okay, I will do it. I will do it. One point two nine three into exactly you have to do it properly. One more time. One more again. One point two seven three. Sorry. Two one point two nine three. Into two seventy three multiplied one two seven sorry divided by three one three one point one two seven na yeah yeah one point one two double seven yeah ah yes yes don't uh, assume the value because you will get uh, all all wrong value okay two seven two seven eight okay what is the unit very important what is the unit Density, what is the unit? Density. Always know kg, kg per, per meter cube. cube. Meter. Okay. Next, what we have to calculate? Density done. We have to calculate velocity. Pt tube value available? Pt tube value available or not? Pt tube constant, they are given, na? Yes, point yes, nine. Point, point nine. Okay, two. Okay, nine point eight one. Okay, velocity pressure. They given how much velocity pressure? Forty five, na? Velocity 45 pressure. Forty five mm WC. Okay, and density we done, na? For forty degree. You have to put it the, all the value. CP point what is the CP value? Point nine square root of two into nine point eight one into velocity pressure forty five divided by one point one two seven eight. Okay, tell me the value velocity. Are you done? Calculation done? 2 into 9.81 into 45 equal to then divided by 1.1278 then square root of answer then multiply 0.9 How much will you mean? Anyone done? 
Exactly. Okay. Twenty five point one eight. What is the unit? Meter, meter per, per second. second. Meter meter per second. Okay. Next volumetric flow. Meter cube per second. Area. Meter yeah, square. Into velocity. Into velocity. I am. I am writing each time. You have to remember this value. <laughs> you don't need to each time. Okay. Understand, na? Okay. Area. How much area? Value. What is the value? Area value. We have done now. Point five zero four. Five zero two four. Point five zero five zero two four into twenty five point one eight. Hmm. Tell me the final value. Velocity. One meter cube. Twelve point sixty four. Sixty four meter cube <coughs> per second. Okay. Next, what we have to done? What we have to do it? Efficiency. You have calculated meter cube per second, total pressure, you know, this also, you know, then you have to put it all the value. Static efficiency. Static. What is the value? Volumetric flow 12.64. Pressure develop, static pressure develop, how much value? Two two zero five, na? Understand? Two zero five. Total static pressure. Two zero five divided by one zero two. One zero two. Into what is the value? Into our power input to the shop. Power input. How much? 67.65. 65 Six into 100. Okay. Tell me the final value. 37.56 okay this is done okay This is a power input. You have to understand. This is a motor power input. This is efficiency, motor shaft. They will give the belt efficiency. You have to draw the belt efficiency. Then power going to power shaft. Fan shaft, power input. Okay, this is a fan. This is a incoming. This is the incoming. In. This is the output. Always you draw the one diagram for clear clarification. The density they are given, 0 degree Celsius. Here, 40 degree Celsius. You have to calculate density. Correction factor also. It's a duct pressure drop, minus 20. After the fan, plus 195 mm water cooler. Then you have to calculate total pressure develop across the fan. This across the fan, na? 
this is across the fan okay pressure develop across the fan then rotary 205 then you know the duct dia the temperature you know then velocity pressure also you know then you have to calculate the static efficiency this is a formula volumetric flow divided into total static pressure divided by 102 into power into the fan sub into 100 you have to take it one by one value you have to calculate volumetric flow and the total static pressure power into sub you take it total static pressure easily done this one you have done easily then power into sub this is a for direction is a forward you understand now forward then you have to do multiply then it says 67.65 kilowatt then you have to calculate volumetric flow volumetric flow what is the unit meter cube per second so area into velocity then you have to calculate area understand the area by d square divided by 4 then you have done this one then velocity what is the formula cp into this is fan and blower formula very very important then you have done this formula then velocity is a one this is very important you have to remember density density is a correction factor temperature correction factor you have to write it this uh, formula very clearly in separate and you have to highlight this temperature correction temperature increase where density reduce so this is a correction factor you have done this also how much coming density r40 degree 1.1278 kg per meter cube then formula you have to apply this one finally you have done 2518 meter per second next volumetric flow area into velocity this is also done then you have you have to apply the formula one by one then everything okay everything is step by step you have to do it you can easily understand the basic structure okay everything you have to do structure wise okay sir okay yes, sir. today class class okay for you easily understand yeah. this concept one, one more time can you can you please explain the temperature one thing only the only okay. that one okay i will explain one more time one second Basically, only the, yeah, yeah, only the temperature correct. Temperature increase here. Temperature increase na temperature increase. The air molecule na when one place is there. Here is a place. Here air molecule here. Okay, here zero degrees Celsius or uh, twenty degrees Celsius. Now I am going to increase forty degrees Celsius. Then what what will happen? This molecule getting the heat energy. Then they have elaborated. Elaborate na going outside, then density going to reduce, then going to density going to reduce. So temperature directly inversely proportional to the density. This is a basic. Whenever the temperature increase, density going to reduce. So we have to write it. This is a formula. The temperature correction factor. This is a temperature correction factor. Temperature correction factor. Factor for density. Density, na. Temperature need to change kel Kelvin. Okay. Temperature need to change Kelvin. How to change the Kelvin? Add two seventy three. Understand? Add two seventy three degree Celsius. This you understand, na? Okay. Temperature need to change Kelvin. Kelvin, how to change? This is a 273 plus temperature. Now you remember this this one. Density. Temperature inversely proportional to the density. Okay. Temperature, what is the temperature? First one. 273 plus 0 degree. Da. What is the value? Density. 1.1278. Two nine three, na. Two nine three. Two nine three. Okay. Next, forty degree Celsius. Two seventy three plus forty. Forty equal to. We need to calculate forty degree Celsius. Understand? 
yes sir then you have to equal this one this value you have to equal how to equal 273 0 degree celsius here you draw the diagram uh, on a line 273 plus 0 degree celsius this is okay next 273 plus 40 degree celsius equal to here coming value coming now down set wait i rather i write the value Here equal to for zero degree Celsius. For zero degree Celsius, what is the value? One point two nine three. Here forty degree da. Here top set. This always keep it like this. Now understood? Now understood? Mm -hmm. Wait, eh? Density, temperature. This is what I should? Yes, sir. Okay, temperature. Need to change Kelvin. How to change Kelvin? I need 273 to the degree. 273 plus degree celsius then kelvin okay okay kelvin zero degree celsius how much kelvin 273 plus zero then 273 kelvin for 40 degree 273 plus 40 3 1 3 Kelvin. Yeah. Okay, this value done. Yeah. R zero uh, density zero degree Celsius. What is the value? One point two nine three kg per meter cube. Okay. Yeah. R forty. We need to calculate. Understand? Forty degree Celsius. We need to calculate. Okay. R zero degree Celsius equal to one divided by what is the value? This general equation R forty degree equal to one divided by two seventy three. Yeah, this is equation two. R zero R forty degree. Next R forty degree. 1 divided by 3 by 3. Okay, R zero degree one divided by two seventy three. R forty degree one divided by two seventy three. It is forty. Okay, now what you have to do? Same one divided by two, na? One divided by. We can write three one three also, na? Sir, uh, R forty degree is uh, equal to one divided by three one three. Two two divided by three. Okay, okay. So I have uh, it wrongly. Okay. No, no, in the, in the, in the equation 3, we can write, uh, we can also write 1 divided by 3, 1, 3, correct? 1 divided by 3, 1, 3. Okay, you can write it like this also. Okay. 1 divided by 3, 1, 3. Okay? Now, this value we need to find out. Okay? We know R 0 degree. R 0 degree, how much value? 1 point. 293 kg per meter cube. R40 need to find. Which you need to find? R40. Then what you have to R40, we can keep it mid top side. 
यू कैन कीप टॉप सेम ना थ्री डिवाइड बाई टू दिस यू हैव टू डू इट थ्री व्हाट इज द वैल्यू थ्री अंडरस्टूड ना density 40 degree we need to call we need to call density for 40 degree this point understood or not yes yes na yes. now now i am i am taking 3 divided by 2 na both both equation this is a both equation we write it equation this is you understood we are taking the two variable okay you are you have to write it this like this equation then tell me or uh, density 40 degree density 0 degree 40 degree we don't know understand density 0 degree how much value 1.293 equal to this is 1 divided by na R 40 degree, what is the value? R 40 degree, 1 divided by 1 yes. divided by 313 into here how to calculate? You can write 1 divided by 1, na, like this coming in 1 divided by 1, 273 then this is going to top side na. This you understand? You have idea? R zero for R zero. What is the value? One divided by one three, na? Otherwise, I want to write it like this. Wait. Uh, for easy understand, you have to write it. R forty. What is the value? R forty. 1 divided by 313. Understood? Yeah. Yes. This R0, 1 divided by 1 point, oh. sorry, 273. 273. Okay, this is understood. Like this, you, yes. you can write it like this also. We write in the childhood. 1 divided by 313 divided by 1 divided by 273. Now, This is going to top side, na. This is coming to down side. Down side means this equation down side. This understood or not? One divided by one divided by three one three whole divided by one divided by two seven three. Okay. Understood or not? Two. Otherwise, simply you have to do it. Simply what you have to do it. Any doubt, tell me clearly. This equation understood, na? This equation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That we understood. This understood na okay. Mm. Then I am equal to na R forty R zero. Mm. Otherwise R zero R forty. You you can take it either way. R forty value I know I know I don't know. R forty I don't know. R zero so density zero I know one point two nine three. This equal to mm. R part density 40, what is the value, temperature value? 1, one divided by 313. Three. Three three. For R0, what is the temperature value? 1 divided by 273. 1 mm. divided by 273. Here, 1 divided by 273, this is going to top side. Na? Mm. Here, big size. This 313 is going to down side. This 273 going to the top set, this 313 coming to down set. Because one day would be 273. This always coming to down set. This is a here. 
any basic calculation any equation divided by any value for how what is the value how is going this is going to top side na x divided by 1 this understood mm. yes yes this. okay same equation any value like this y this is y here x you get to here also you write it y okay here going to x y this understood x y equal to what is the value x y na yeah. here what is the value here what is the value 1 divided by x whole divided by here what is the value tell me quickly 1 divided by x y ah uh, 1 divided by x y okay what are the way you can write it uh, x what are the way you can write it x you can write it x divided by 1 this is also x na yes okay what are the way you can write it 1 by y One x divided by one. This is also you can write it, and another way you can write it. X divided by one divided by one. This is also x, na. One there is no value. One x divided by one x. Then x divided by one one. What are the way you can write it? Y one by y. Here one. One divided by y. This okay. Automatically, what will happen? Same y point. coming to downside. Yes. Same concept. Zero degree. Forty degree. Zero. You know all the density. That is the temperature. For zero degree, you write it here. What is the value? One divided by two seventy three. Understood? Okay. For forty degree, one divided three by one three. Three one three. Three one three. Okay. Now, where the value going? Finally. Where are the value going? One divided by two seventy three, two seventy three coming to down. This is a big, this is a big divided. <laughs> this small divided. This small divided. Understood? Mm. One divided by two seventy three. Here divided by one divided by two seventy three. This is going to top side. This is going to top side. What will happen? Into multiplication three one three yes three one three divided by one then three one three divided by two seventy three what is R degree say this value one by one two nine three one point two nine three what is the value density part degree we need to calculate. Calculate the value now. How to take it? This is you can easily understand, na. Density part is going to this going to here. This going to here. This going to downside. Any doubt? Tell me. One point two nine three into two seventy three divided by. Three one three. This is understood. Yes. This is understood. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now tell me the value. Zero point 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू हेव टू प्रापरली अंडरस्टैंड ओके डायरेक्टली आर इनवर्सली वेरी वेरी यू हेव टू नो अबाउट दिस वैल्यू ओके डेंसिटी उटिटी How to calculate? You have to equal both. You have to divide and equal. Simple. Density one, density two equal. Same. Density one. What is the value? Inverse proportional to T one. Density two. What is the value? Inverse proportional to T two. Then density one, density two equal to what? T one coming to down. T two going to up. Okay. T one coming to down. Okay. T two going to top side. This understood. Same. You have to follow. T one coming to down side. T two going to top side. This is inverse, na? You understand? This is inverse, na? This understood. This inverse. Delta uh, density one here T one. This is inverse. One divided by na? This is density two. T two inverse na. This point understood or not? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, same. This is a basic. Any value they given like this only. So you have to properly calculate this way. No doubt, clear, Vikram. Yes, sir. Aras, Aras is live. ओके डाउट क्लियर ना विक्रम यस यस ओके टुडे आई गिव द असाइनमेंट यू हैव टू डू इट यस्टरडे असाइनमेंट यू हैव टू डू इट ना टुडे यस सर यस 